a lot of people, especially in the sales career, they will have these spurts of high performance. Mm -hmm. So high activity, you're out there, you're busting down doors, you're making phone calls, you're closing deals, yep. and then you hit a goal, and then mm -hmm. fall right back down to what you used to what you used to do. And so the key there is to not forget what got you there and to continue to do the things that got you there. So at whatever level that you're you're that you have attained, if if you've gotten to a certain level of success or the level that you get to ultimately as you uh, continue to grow in your success, not forgetting what got you there, not forgetting to do those same things that got you to that level or you will Mm -hmm. Go back down and it's just that whole if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Sales Wolves podcast. This is episode 41. And this is Tyler Harris. And this Joseph. is Joseph Caldwell. And we are the Sales Wolves. And uh, welcome, uh, our, welcome to our uh, den. This is a den of madness, den. insanity, and much sales. Much sales. Uh, so the topic today. Um, is going to be consistency. Consistently and consistent. Consistently consistent. Let's see. Or <laughs> I've never been consistent. I've been inconsistent. Inconsistent. Consistently inconsistent. inconsistent yes. It's still consistent. It's still consistent. That's a that's, that's a, a paradox. A, that's a para paradox. It's a paradox. <laughs> <laughs> we're also on uh, we're also on Facebook Live on my page here, so appreciate you guys jumping in on that. Yeah, what, what are your page? Tyler Harris. Tyler page? Harris page. Yeah. Yes, sir. He um, puts out some dope content. I watch it every night before bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the worst testimonial ever. <laughs> that Tyler Harris as page. Laying, he puts out some dope I, content. I watch it as I in bed as I put lipstick on. <laughs> oh gosh! All right, moving Is on. Is this live on your page? Yeah, it's not even going to get edited. I know. I'm going to say we so. don't ever edit it. We don't ever edit stuff. Yeah, though. we don't. Yeah, but when I drop like, yeah, mucho f bombs and gds. Yeah. We are it's in the Bible good. Belt. It's never good. It's I'm never. Wearing, good. I'm wearing my Bible Belt today. I am too. <laughs> it's my Bible Belt. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about consistency. If you've been on this planet for any amount of time, that you probably have heard that consistency is key. Um, but I don't think that people realize how big of a deal consistency is. Um, so we've got a bunch of quotes down here, just kind of bullet pointed out that we wanted to touch on. Uh, but the first one is. If you want to be respected, be consistent. Uh, I don't True. know about you, but the people that I respect the most are the ones that show up. Um, they do what they dependable. say they're going to do. Yeah, they're, they're, they're dependable. dependable. Right. Um, and there's something to be said, um, whether the whether the performance is at like an insanely high level mm -hmm. or whether it's just average, but mm -hmm. they show up every single time. <laughs> What's happening? I'm getting drinking blocked drink. by the microphone. Um, but just being consistent. I actually didn't touch my lips to it. By being, <laughs> by being consistent, um, people can count on you. People can trust you. Um, so if you want to be taken seriously in life and business, be consistent. It's true. I said yeah. it all. So, so this has been episode 41. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one says, if you are persistent, you will get it. If you are consistent, you will keep it. So if you're persistent, that's how you get it. Yeah, you just don't quit. Don't quit. Don't quit. And then once you stay consistent, that's how you keep it. That's how Many you years. keep what you got. And people don't understand, like, it's some. It's not what you want to do a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, it goes against our very nature um, to be persistent because people come up with excuses to quit. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, I actually did a did a video this morning on um, uh, can't catch a break while your hands are full of excuses. Hmm. 
That's pretty that's good. good. That's right? really good. I like that. I stole mm. it from you. I mean, you were the one that said it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I was saying, geez, that was genius. Geez, that's I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> but but that's the thing. You come up with excuses and you don't and you're not persistent. Mm-hmm. Um but literally I was joking about being inconsistent because I, I always did my runs like this. I would be like <laughs> Yep. <laughs> And I joke about it, but I was consistent with it, you mm-hmm. know. Um, but it, the the thing with consistency is is uh, is nobody is it. That's why you don't have a lot of trust for people. You don't trust people. Mm-hmm. There's not many people out there that you yeah. can really rely on. That at yeah. the end of the day, I can count on on one hand the people that when they say something. Um, I have a saying about it too. If uh, if like Ezel, mm-hmm. we're gonna have him on the podcast. And we'll call him at Thanksgiving too, mm-hmm. but uh, that'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, like we did last week. Like, did we? Mm-hmm. Oh, we did that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did we? Yeah, just like deja vu. I think. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Back on episode forty. So, <clears throat> did we? Yeah. I don't remember. Is it when we were drinking wine? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's just buried deep in the matrix. I forgot what I was saying. Um, oh, if a one thing about pull it. a freight train, hook its ass up. Say again. Yeah, I was saying that if the people that I actually respect on yeah. this earth, the people yeah. that that I believe, if they say something, they mm-hmm. have been so consistent. Mm-hmm. Every time they have said something, it's come to pass where they say they're going to do something and they do it. Mm-hmm. And that's what people don't realize is that consistency starts there with yeah. what you're saying and that you do what you say you're going to do. Um, and that's the foundation of trust. Uh, that's how you build trust. And that's how you keep trust. That's how you mm-hmm. don't break trust. But. And so when it comes to a sales environment and kind of what you were just saying, like a lot of people, especially in a sales career, they will have these spurts of high performance. Mm-hmm. So high activity, you're out there, you're busting down doors, you're making phone calls, you're closing deals, yep. and then you hit a goal and then ooh, mm-hmm. fall right back down to what you used to what you used to do. And so the key there is to not forget what got you there. And to continue to do the things that got you there. So at whatever level that you're you're that you have attained, if if you've gotten to a certain level of success, or the level that you get to ultimately as you uh, continue to grow in your success, not forgetting what got you there, not forgetting to do those same things that got you to that level, or you will. Mm-hmm. Go back down, and it's just that whole. If you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. Um, yeah, there's no stagnation. Yeah, and it's and it's a lot of that in sales is keeping that pipeline full. Sure. Um, you know, we've talked about it that now and later uh, money. Now and later money. Close the deals that you're doing now, but then they also have the future business that you have to be setting up on a daily basis. Right. Uh, when I was a financial advisor, we used to always talk about the worst thing that could happen to you is to have an incredible month. Because more than likely, if you had an incredible month, you were just closing sales, not building the pipeline right. for the next quarter or the next month, two months. Um, and so that can cripple you. It's a balancing act. Yeah. You've got to constantly be aware of and it. And from a sales management perspective, looking at someone that just has these peaks and valleys versus someone that's just Mr. Consistent, you mm-hmm. want Mr. Consistent all day long. All day long. Um, because you can count on them. Because you can plan for for what they're going to do. Um, you just said it, but that was the next point. Trust is built with consistency. Um, that think about like in a relationship, yeah. um, and, in every, in every aspect of your life yeah, your marriage. Uh, and all the things that you are consistent or inconsistent in, um, that's where trust is either built, built. or torn down or, or torn down. Um, this, this one's interesting. So it said consistency is contrary to nature, contrary to life. The only completely consistent people are dead. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I see dead people. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the only ones that are completely consistent because they're just doing the same thing. It's the exact same thing. And so it's against so human nature probably, to be consistent. That's probably where Oscar Wilde's saying came in. That, yeah. That, that's funny. Mm-hmm. Huh? Interesting. So, again, being able to be consistent is almost 
Yeah, it's it's almost a uh, impossibility because we go through so much during our, our our days, our weeks, our months, and so much that just comes into our life to be able to do it anyway on a daily basis, to be mm-hmm. able to still perform in order to be consistent um, when the obstacles arise, when the challenges arise. That's what makes it so difficult, and that's yeah. what makes it to where it's so far and few between that actually are able to be consistent. Um, but you know, the coolest thing happened, uh, I was talking to this guy, um, his name's Sylvania, and uh, I was talking to him. We had been connected like eight months ago uh, through a mutual friend, and uh, we just never, like we'd been introduced, but we never really con- uh, connected, we never talked, but we actually talked uh, this past week uh, for about an hour one morning, like 6.30 in the morning, and just about what he's doing, what I'm doing, uh, and he said, he's like, man, he's like, I've actually spoken like in groups and in our in our Facebook group he's got a facebook group with like a couple thousand people influencers and uh social media and he's like and i've probably talked about you a hundred times and i was like really he's like yeah he's like and when i talk he's like every time i talk about you i talk about consistency and he was talking about with social media and i was like man i was like man i was like that's the best compliment that anyone could ever give me yeah to say that consistency is what they um think of because that's ultimately it's it's trust it's reliability Mm -hmm. and it's being able to count on um someone So this next quote says, success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Consistent hard work gains success. Greatness will come. What do you think about that? What time did the man go to the dentist? I don't know. (laughs) 2.30. How did did a random dad joke... (laughs) Just into your, just uh, into your head. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but you, uh, lose, that was you very laugh. inconsistent. That was consistent. <laughs> Lee, inconsistent. <laughs> All right. What was the, what was the one we're getting? I ready said to success read? isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. Really Consistent hard work gains success. Habits. We're talking about habits. Mm-hmm. You're talking about form and habits. So yeah. in sales, it's it's. It's the consistent one that if if you have to make 25 calls a day to to get a certain amount of meetings that you make them every single day. Mm-hmm. The great ones always make them every mm-hmm. day. They make them on the way to them. I mean, it's it's about developing habits in life. Um, and and more than that, you know, like we were talking about before, it's even if you're talking about your marriage, it's cons- it's doing what you say you're gonna do. Mm-hmm. Um, it, as friends, you if if. You say you're going to get something done. You say you have something set up. You say you're you're whatever going to be somewhere. Then you do what you say you're going to do, and uh, and it's just developing that habit of always being consistent. That when people think of you, they think reliable. Like that's the best compliment that guy could have given you on social mm-hmm. media. Um, but uh, but that was a pretty good dad joke too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Nathan. So Aristotle said, "We are what we repeatedly do." Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. And that's what you said. It's about putting in place habits and processes. Uh, I don't know that, who that Aristotle guy is, but I, <laughs> I, I came up with that. <laughs> so so the, the encouraging thing about that to me is that it does not necessarily take some insane level of talent to succeed in life. It doesn't, you don't have to have some specific skill, ability that's just heading above everybody else. Right. It just takes having the hard work ethic to be consistent on a daily basis. And so if, if I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm watching this podcast, I'm thinking, man, yeah, I'm not really great at anything. Well, are you good at something that you can do every single day? Yeah. Um, and to me, that's the encouragement of this. It's, not, it's, what we, it's what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. And so if you can just commit to doing the things that, that you're supposed to do, um, and then do those just day in, day yeah, out, yeah. just show up yep. consistently over a long period of time, um, then ultimately that will create um, success. That it's not show up, perform at this just extraordinary level. Yeah. Um, it's just show up. Um, and, and half the time, that is half the battle, yeah. I would say. So, I mean, was that a fourth half of the half? Time, of the half. half the battle. So, it's like about a fourth, a of, the, fourth of the equation. A hand sandwich <laughs> walks into a bar and orders a beer, and the bartender says, we don't serve food here. You didn't like that one. I think you're stuck in the wrong podcast. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people have sent me messages about that thing. And it's got like twenty thousand views on YouTube. Does it? That's yeah. freaking hilarious. He knows like an hour long. Yeah, forty nine minutes or something. Yeah. 
Um, one good one here, and, and probably the last one, because we got to wrap up. Um, saying you are reliable and trustworthy is hot air until you prove it. And the only way to prove it is through consistency. Yeah, and so one thing that I say often is that, you know, I never trust words, never. rarely trust actions, but I always trust patterns. Yep. And patterns are created through consistency. Patterns prove consistency because when you're consistent, then that pattern will show if you're doing the right things or not, right? Um, and so whether it's in your sales career, if you're a salesperson, which many that watch this podcast are, um, from a managerial leadership standpoint, when they're looking at their, their salespeople, the ones that are consistent are held highest in regard to those sales managers yep. because they can count on them. Um, so it's not the little rising stars that just kind of go yeah. out and they just crush it for a little bit Why and then Bunch fall back. Us. Yeah, we call it Mr. Consistency because mm -hmm. every single week, yeah. every week. Because there's and that's there's a lot of levels to that, but the biggest one to me is that you can forecast off of consistent people. You can plan off of consistent people. That's right. It's very difficult from a sales leadership standpoint to forecast sales out, forecast different trends that are going on within the business if you have a bunch of people that aren't consistent. Right. Uh, that just that they submit business every now and then. Yeah. You know, you'll randomly get a huge production week from them, and then they'll disappear for two weeks. Versus the guy that's just every week yep. doing however many Shows deals. Um, and and honestly, in my perspective, I'd prefer the person that does less production at the end of the year, but it's Every steady through the through the week it. and through the months than the guy that just rockets and then falls, rockets right. and then falls. I'd rather have the guy that's that's out there because you know that guy takes it seriously and he's just figured out that, hey, this is what he needs to provide the life for his family that yep. he needs. And he's just going to go out and execute on a, on a weekly basis. Like that's what Joshua Tagan used to say. He was yep. like, I figured I need to see this many people to write this many policies to make this amount of money. So that's what I'm gonna do. And so he would submit like 50 policies a week. Every week. Every single Every week. week. And he wasn't gonna do like 120 one week. Nope. Because he knew to do what I wanna do, I'm I gotta see this, this many, many people. people. And as soon as I get that done, yeah. I'm working towards eight weeks out so yeah. that I can do 50 policy. I mean, it's just, and there's magic behind that. Um, and so that's so that's important. Um, anything else on consistency before we, uh, before we close here? No, it's a simple topic. I mean, yeah. it's simple. It's uh, people. People try to make these things way too I think hard. it's important to audit your life, though, and, and just ask yourself, what areas of your life are you consistently, or are you consistent in, and what areas are you not? Yeah. Um, because that's important. That's um, and if, yeah, that, it's a, yeah, it's a huge key to self-awareness. But it's important to, uh, to look at that, because in the areas that you are not, you are letting someone down, more than likely. Um, well, that someone's yourself first. Yeah, 100%. But it also could be a spouse. It also could be a boss. It also could be a business partner. It could also be a child. Like, like whatever areas in your life that you are not consistently showing up, those are probably the areas you want to work on. I'll be here next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I can trust you. You can trust me. I can count on you. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is uh, episode 41 on consistency. We appreciate you guys joining us that joined us live on my page here. And uh, we appreciate you all that have checked it out on iTunes. Hey, I want to throw out a little right hook here. If you have not gone to iTunes and downloaded the uh, or uh, subscribed uh, to the podcast, please do that. Um, it's if you just go to Sales Wolves, just search Sales Wolves on iTunes. Um, the audio is the audio is great. I, I personally, I like the audio better than the video. Maybe it's just because I don't like watching myself. I like I <laughs> like video. watching myself. <laughs> Would you say watching yourself? What well, that too? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's necessary. But you don't have to it's like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness but do yeah you, but does subscribe else do it for you <laughs> <laughs> i mean when you got money when you got money baby <laughs> <laughs> that's oh. a weird way to end the podcast that's weird yeah. but uh but we All would right. appreciate you subscribing and leaving a review let us know what you think good bad or indifferent like we we want to know uh we want to know what people think because we're constantly trying to improve uh what we're doing here uh on the podcast and so that means a lot for us and uh 
and that would be uh, something that you could do to to uh, help us out. So, with you got that, any bad reviews? Let's read the bad reviews on one of these one time. I don't think we have. I think all of them have been like, "Man, that guy with the beard is incredible." I don't know about the other guy. The other guy's a fucking turd. <laughs> but you have, um, <laughs> fifty-one five stars, one four star, and one three star. What did the three star person say? Every time I get a, probably a freaking every genius. time I get a review on my Facebook page, especially if it's a bad one, I'll always like comment if it's a good one. But if it's a bad one, I'll always comment and I'll be like, "Hey, man." Please provide me some feedback. I'd love to know why you gave me two stars. Yeah. And every single time they end up deleting it, or like this last time, it was a guy who was like, "Oh my god, I didn't even know I, I didn't know I hit that." Um, he's like, "I was just, I meant to I do something five else." Stars and you didn't send shit to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the three star person did not even uh, leave a, a review. They just left three stars, and the four star right. person said, "Tyler is a true gunner and has been an open book about his failures and triumphs." You're such a douche. Sounds like someone that's consistent. Sounds like it sounds like a consistent <laughs> douche. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So with that, <laughs> Jack Oscar said that guy with no hair is sexy though. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Dirk. Of course, Dirk said that. Uh, I called Dirk this week, and uh, he was like, "What's up, Mister Caldwell?" And I was like. Did you just did you just get chubby when you saw here? that? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I was like, dude. He is a funny character. Uh, funny, funny, funny. So with that, guys, Hell of a salesman, this dude. is episode 41. Yeah, we're the sales bulls. Welcome to the sales den. den of sales <laughs> and I am bulls. Tyler Harris. This is <laughs> Joseph, Joseph Caldwell, Caldwell, and we are the sales bulls. Yeah, All right. Uh, Dude, why do chicken coops only have two doors? <laughs>